It is a packed house for the launch of the third annual Sault Ste. Marie Science Festival, which is bringing science to all ages. Emily, you are one of the oldest participants here at the Science Festival. What do you like about science? The curiosity. And you're always continuing to learn. Yes. You have some young people here today who would like to teach you some things about the bugs. Why do you think it's so special to have young people involved in well, teaching some of the, the seniors? The longer life goes on, the more uh, interested they are. Here goes one for Emily. Ready, one, two, three, go! There hey, you go. Emily. Why did you want to volunteer for the Science Festival? Um, because I'm interested in bugs and I thought they were pretty cool and I wanted to learn more about them. And why do you like sharing all of the information that you do know with some of the seniors here in our community? Um, because I think that letting other people learn what I know is like, it's nice for them, other people to know and stuff, so. And you're not scared at all to hold any of the bugs? You like them all? Um, I'm not scared and um, in the lab at Antomica I let a tarantula crawl on my arm actually, so. You're a brave girl. You are an advocate for intergenerational learning. Why do you think that's something so important to incorporate into all of the fields? I think it's very important for, first of all, people to keep evolving and you can't do that without knowledge and information. But there's a lot of new stuff coming on that young people perhaps have more of their fingers on the pulse than older people, but older people have a lot of wisdom. And so it's very nice to be able to combine the two. So someone with critical thinking skills, as we're older, have a lot to pass on to younger people. So we see knowledge in two different ways then. We see it from a younger perspective, all the new kind of stuff, but then we see an older perspective of how maybe this stuff could be put together. So it teaches us all a new perspective on learning. And is it interesting now for you to see something like this traveling with like all of these different bugs and, and really giving access to everyone in the public to learn? Oh, for sure. I mean, some of those insects are larger than anything anyone's <laughs> ever seen. And for people who are not mobile and can't get out to a science center or can't get out to a butterfly conservancy, to be able to have the stuff brought in like this I mean, is, is quite amazing. And even the habitat in which the insects need to live is very educational, not just even looking at the insect themselves. Algoma University is a big supporter of the Sault Ste. Marie Science Festival. You're also a big supporter of seniors continuing to learn throughout their life. And there's actually free tuition for seniors in our community to attend the university? Absolutely. Seniors come to university free. They have to pay a little bit for ancillaries and of course they have to pay for books. But the rest is completely free. We've got a wide variety of courses. We've had some seniors uh, come back for several degrees. What the seniors add to the classroom is really valuable because they bring life experience to the classroom and this benefits all the students, so we really, really like having seniors with us.